I felt well, you know, um, I'd like to hear Pete Seeger in person, although I did hear him at one time many years in, I think it was in 45 or 46 at the Workman's Circle, and it wasn't advertised, it was a, a, um, a, a labor organization, and, uh, and a very friend invited me to go with him, and I didn't even know who Pete Seeger was, and I go, and I was just bowled over with the songs he was singing, and that's when, when I saw the Pete Seeger on the Folkways uh, list, I wanted it. So, um, first concert I ever did was with Pete Seeger. Come, you ladies and you gentlemen, and listen to my song. I'll sing it to you right, though you might think it's wrong. It was in 53, I believe. I presented Pete Seeger for two reasons. One, I wanted, because I, I enjoyed his concert so much, I wanted to hear him again. And I was kind of upset that they didn't advertise it because I only found out at the last minute that he was singing. So I, I wanted to hear him again. And also, I thought I would invite the record stores uh, people to come and hear him. I remember I was to Harold and said, what is the fee? He says, well, I think he said it was $750. But forget about the fee. Do the concert. We'll talk about it after. Oh, what will you give me? So that's the way it works. So after the concert, uh, uh, and Pete never, all the years I presented Pete, which I must have done 50 times, you know, not in Montreal, but Toronto and elsewhere, he never asked what his fee was, never. Uh, so Harold, uh, with, the, with the first one, he said, well, how'd you do? I said, well, I think I made a little money. How much did you make? I don't know, 200 bucks maybe. And he says, okay. Um, uh, could you send me the two hundred dollars? I said okay. Uh, I was very naive at the time because uh, when I went to the concert hall, which was the Lermitage, which was uh, a concert hall recording studio for the CBC, which they gave me to, you know, whatever they rented for, and there were somebody writing down license plates numbers. It was a time of McCarthyism, and I went to one of them and said, "Why are you writing down license plates? It's none of your business, you know." And when McCarthy started, uh, the radios and television cut off everybody that was a folk singer. Even the Kingston Trio couldn't get on Ed Sullivan, you know. And uh, the only one, as I said, that I heard uh, was uh, Garson Keeler with Pete Seeger, you know, which I was amazed that uh, Garson Keeler was brave enough to present him, the only one I knew of. And uh, I had great respect for him, you know. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Folk songs was a reflection of everyday life. And it's, it's when I heard, first heard Pete Seeger, that was to me a revelation because all of a sudden somebody was singing about things that actually mean something. You know? Uh, 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 the Union the Forever and all that sort of stuff. Well, you know, uh, uh, it was very tough being in the unions. Someday we'll walk hand in hand. We'll walk.